Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous videos, we did listing, creating and updating of the rows. And in today's video, we'll be doing deleting of the rows. Whenever we click on this, we'll show a pop-up and in there, we'll show a delete button and then we'll delete the row. And before starting the video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you and you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways and if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit and you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Okay, now let's get started. I have already created a model component from this Tailwind elements. If you see here, I have been using Tailwind elements for the UI part and if I just show you here then we have this model over here this i'll just leave the link of this page just below that like button and if you just come here at the bottom then we have this extra large large and small model and if you click on here it will show me the code okay you can just copy this and just paste it over here i have already created a model component which is this inside admin components and now i'll show you what i have done i have just pasted whatever the code is over here inside over here and also i need to run this so here npm install Tailwind elements. I'll be leaving the link of this also paste just below that like button. After it has been installed, we have to go here. I think we already have this. Now we have to just copy this thing and we have to go here in the Tailwind config. And we should put it inside the contents like this. After that, we need to just import it. I'll go here in the app JS in the resources and here I'll import it. All the JS related to this Tailwind elements will be imported. We have done this and I have already copied this and the component looks like this. I'll explain you each and every part of it, okay? So here at the bottom, we have this header, footer and this body of this model and now we have added this model size which is coming from this prop if you see here in the prop we have a model value using this we will be able to use b model in our component this is the title whatever we pass in the title will show that title in the model and this is the size it can be either sm md or large if there is anything other than these values and the size in the props then we'll just throw an error it will just throw the error okay and we are just doing this emits because we need to emit this update model value so that we will be able to use p model and i'm generating a random id for this and if i just show you this id over here then i'm using it over here and this id level like this okay and this is the random character if i just show you this thing over here and if i just show you the console over here and here let me just zoom it for you and if i hit enter then we'll see it like this but if i just do it parse int then it will only give me the integer part and then it will convert it into a string this two string will convert it into a string if i just don't write this two string then it will just give me the integer now and i'm prefixing this with model then after that model id element this document dot query selector and this this is the model id element we need this because we need to show and hide the model using javascript and then we need to emit that if it is shown we'll emit true otherwise we will emit false in the model value and then v model will work accordingly this is the props b model whenever we pass something in the v model and if that changes outside of this component then we need to also handle this so if it is true then we'll show this get or create instance if you look here in this i think it's here in the bootstrap if you just go here in the documentation and if you see here in this methods and get or create instance 
you can see here it will get the instance if it is already present otherwise it will create a new instance of this model and you can see here we have this bootstrap dot model over here but here we have this window dot model the tailwind element just makes us everything available using the window object if it is true then we'll just get or create the instance and then we'll show we can call dot show method and the model will be visible and if it is false then we'll show this i think we can also do here get or create instance like this and i am just defining this emit open model event and emit close model event and we are using this over here on mounted and on the mounted we have this add event listener for this hidden and this shown model it will be called whenever the model is closed and it will be called whenever the model is open and on on mounted we will just remove those event listeners because if we don't do this then the events will be just available in every other page so we will not do that wherever we are using model we only want those events to be available there and here if you see here if this model is closed then we are just calling this and it is just updating the model value and we have mentioned over here false it will update v model to have a false value and similarly this will update the v model to have the true value like this i think this is it over here i don't think we have any other thing over here and this is model sizes we are converting this model sizes whenever we pass sm md or like this where we see sm md or lg then we are converting it like this and we are using it over here like this and then the title is over here and we have this slot this is the body slot and this is the footer slot if footer is passed or the footer slot is present then only we'll show this footer okay now let me go to this index page now whenever we click on this action this action then we want to show this pop-up and inside the action also we only want to show that pop-up if this delete is clicked so we'll just say here edit click init delete clicked and we'll also pass the event and now here we can do is like this at the rate delete clicked so delete model like this and now we can just define this method over here function so delete model for that we also need one const we'll keep all these deleting things in one section because we'll later on extract these into a different composable js file so here i'll say delete model equals to ref and we'll have false over here and now we'll say just delete model dot value equals to two and also we want to know whatever thing that is clicked so here we'll pass this item like this and we'll get that item over here and we'll say here const item to delete we'll say ref and we'll just pass empty object over here we'll just use ref everywhere i just like to use one thing so that we'll not be confused whether to use value or not and here will be item to delete dot value will be item like this and now here we'll use that model let me just import that and here also i think i'll add it over here and instead of view reactivity i'll just use view and now here i'll just instead of button i'll write here model and now we can use that model over here i'll just do here like this and here will be v dash model will be we just go here then i'll say here delete model like this and we'll say let's say size will be sm and title will be it will be dynamic and here will be delete item dot name and here in the body we'll say here are you sure you want to delete this item and here we'll have footer and here we'll have button i think we already have imported this button yes we already have so here i'll say delete like this and let me also run here npm run watch it is already running so let me go here and let me run it again one more time because I, I think we installed that tailwind elements so i'll just run it one more time after this now let me go over here and let me just refresh and it is not showing anything there is something error going on and it is saying we cannot read the property name of undefined i think it is calling this okay i am writing here item but it must be item to delete here will be item to delete and i'll come here and refresh the page and i'll be able to see it and if i click here 
then I can see that model and the model is very big I think we forgot to do one thing let me go ahead in the Tailwind elements and I think we need to do oh yeah sorry we need to add this to the plugins Tailwind config yes so I'll add that as well and now let me again just close this and then again run it now again let me go here and refresh the page and then click on this delete model then we are seeing this delete model so let me just give it a medium size by default it will be a medium size then it will show this medium model size delete this are you sure you want to delete this item this now whenever we click on this at the red click then we want to handle delete item we'll call this method over here like this and then we'll call inertia delete over here let me import that over here like this and let me just go over here like this where is the script here inertia dot delete we have this delete method and now we have to pass here route route and here we'll say admin dot roles dot destroy and here we'll pass the id id will be item to delete dot value dot id like this and we also have some properties that we can pass here as a second parameter and also i think we need to have a loading property once is is deleting equals to ref false and here will be before on before and here will be a method and we'll say here is deleting dot value will be true and on success we'll have delete model dot value will be false we'll close the model and then item to delete will be empty object and then finally if there is error or success then we want to make sure that is deleting is false so here we'll say here on finish is deleting dot value equals to false like this and if this is deleting is true then we want to disable this button okay so here i'll just go here and disabled is equals to if it is deleting then we want to disable this and also here i want to show this span delete and deleting if let's say if is deleting then we'll show deleting otherwise so just this delete later on we'll extract this delete model into its own separate model as well so we have done this let me save it and let me come here and refresh the page and let me just open it this console sorry let me go over here in the network panel and if i just click on this then and click on delete then it showed us the deleting text for a couple of milliseconds then it showed us this pop-up which means that we haven't implemented this destroy method so let me close this and let me go here in this role controller i'll just duplicate this and here instead of this we'll only have role and it will be role delete and we'll just say here return back with role deleted successfully because it will be on the same page whenever we are deleting yeah so let me also destroy like this it will be on the same page whenever we are deleting because if you see here it will be on this index page and whenever something is deleted we want to redirect back to this same page so we'll just do here redirect back and now let me just refresh the page for now and we are here in the role 3 let me delete it so delete it is deleted successfully but we didn't get this notification so let me go to alert component okay so we need to also watch this value so let me copy this thing from here and let me say watch and we'll watch this thing and here let me say here success message like this and then message dot value will be success message and here will be empty string like this and also we want to do this immediately we are doing this immediate equals to true so that it will be automatically assigned to this message whenever this component is mounted we removed this from here so we have to do it like this now let me go to this browser and refresh the page and now if i just come here and delete then you can see here role deleted successfully let me also add new role it is also showing me this role created successfully and let me also do one more time on the update 
and it is working for all the conditions. So till now we have already seen how to list items, create an item, update an item and delete an item. And now in the next video, we will be implementing the filters. We have here name. So we want to filter this list by using the name. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.